Hello, this is Pinky, and this will be a tutorial on how to make your PC avatar quest compatible. To start off, we will first see that this avatar was from our last episode on how to upload a PC avatar. And so what we are going to do is we're going to duplicate this project and then convert it to the Android SDK. And then we are going to upload it to the quest side of things. So to get started, we are going to close this and we are going to locate that project file inside of our Unity Hub. But before we do this, we're going to make sure that we have the Android SDK installed. You'll know this is true when you go over to your installs, you go to 2019.4.31F1, and you see that it says Android. If it does not, click on this setting, do Add Modules, and you should be able to see something that says Android. You would just check it like this and click Install. Uh, since mine's already downloaded, I do not have to do that. So now that you've successfully checked that this is ready, what you want to do is click on here, show in Explorer, and you're going to want to locate your project. So right here, this is it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and I'm going to paste. This will duplicate the project. This will actually take quite a bit of time. So I'm going to speed up this. Okay, now that our avatar has successfully been duplicated, this is our project here that we will be using. For this case, I'm going to rename it to Quest so it's easier to find. And so now I'm going to close this window and I'm going to go here on top and I'm going to do Add Project from Disk and I'm going to search for it. Uh, I'm going to click Date Modified and this will show it at the top since it was the most recently modified file. And I'm going to click Add Project. And as you can see, we now have the new project here. This will be an exact copy of this one. So what we're going to do now is we're going to open it. We are going to wait for Unity to load up. Now that we are in Unity, this will still be uploading to PC. So to change this, we're going to go to our VRChat SDK and show control panel. And after we have logged in, we will go over to Builder. And right here, we'll see this button that says switch build target to Android. Now we'll want to click this. This process will take around 30 minutes. So uh, I'm probably going to speed this up, I'm, uh, but I'll see you guys on the other side. But just remember, this will take a long time to switch over. We're going to hit confirm. Okay, now that we are back after it has successfully switched over to Android, if we head over to the Builder tab now, you'll see we have many errors in the console and we won't be able to upload. So what we'll have to do is we'll have to go through and change each of these things. So starting with the first, we can see that our shader, which we use in this case Poyomi 8, is not supported and we'll need to change it to the VRChat slash mobile shader. So what we're going to do is we are going to click on our avatar. We are going to click on this drop down and go to body. We are going to go down here to the shader and then we're going to click on VR chat mobile and you can test which one you like from here. Personally, just for simplicity, I'm going to pick tune lit and I'm going to select that for all of these. And then I'm going to go to the floof. I'm also going to change this one VR chat mobile tune lit. And then you're just going to repeat this process for every single other material you have in your avatar. Okay, now that you've completed that, we will go back to the uh, sh control panel. We are going to open it up. And we are going to see what other errors that it has given us. So now we can see we are also missing one more texture. So I will have to go search for that one. And we are, we have too many Fizzbone components. So for this step, we're going to have to remove a component. So if you click on your avatar here, you can see that this one has a hair component, tail, looks like butt, and then also perhaps breasts if you were to enable the female toggle. So we will have to choose one of these that will have to go. So personally, I'm going to click on body or I believe that is under armature and I'm going to have to click something that I want to remove. So I'm going to just for test sake, 
I'm going to remove the ear ones. So what I will do is I'll click remove component and I'll do that to both the ears. So the ears will no longer have fizz bones on them. And now if I go back to that control panel, you will see that the fizz bone thing is no longer there. So we have one last thing we have to search for. I'm going to quickly cut when I find this. Okay, uh, I found it. It is the muddle cred, and this is just inside the chest. So what I'm going to do is open VRChat, mobile, tunelit, and there you go. And as you can now see, that has changed. And if I were to open up the control panel this time, you will now see that all of the errors are gone. Now, everything here that is red, that is not in like a stop sign formation, uh, is actually just a like suggestion kind of warning. It's not actually gonna stop you from uploading, but it will mean that your avatar is unoptimized and may not show on other people's side of things. There's many ways to optimize this. I may make videos later, uh, but for the most part, you are completely able to upload this to Quest. So I'm going to click build and publish, and I will see you on the other side. Okay, and now that we are here, we can, we don't have to change anything here. This is still the same key. We're going to click upload. And we are going to wait for this to upload to the VR chat. Okay, and now that it is uploaded, it is now quest compatible. Now, one thing I would like to say is if you do not use this method and you just say create a whole nother Unity project, import all your things, and make sure um, that you like added everything. There are some warnings I would like to place. The first one being that anything inside your VR chat parameters menu will have to be the same on your PC and your Quest version. If any of these are different, you're, you will have certain parameters that will mix match on different platforms and will cause things to break. And the other one is when you're uploading PC and Quest, you want to make sure that your avatar ID is the exact same. Otherwise, you'll be either creating a new avatar or you just won't be able to upload it. So those are my two warnings. I will quickly hop into VRChat and show that this is uploaded on Quest. Now that we are inside VRChat, what we're going to do is when I click on our avatar, we're going to go to uploaded. And we will see now, if you go over here, there is the Quest symbol right there. And if you go to view avatar details, you can now see any platform. It is now on PC and Quest. Our avatar now is uploaded to both. Congratulations, you have now uploaded a Quest avatar. Uh, if you liked the video, please like and subscribe. And have a good rest of your day.